Peggy 16. Ravenbound is an action-packed open-world roguelite set in a deadly but beautiful fantasy realm inspired by Swedish folklore. It's being developed by a small and dedicated team here in Stockholm. When making an open-world roguelite, it's like taking a traditional roguelite, but you tear down the walls of the traditional rooms of the dungeon crawl and instead exposing the options and choices to players. A staple of Ravenbound and the roguelite genre is permadeath, so we've based a lot of our design around that. We have implemented a card system. It's used to create synergies in your run and to make builds that cater to your playstyle. But as you progress, your deck of cards and its power will grow, so you will always start off the next run slightly better off than the one before. My name is Brooke, and I'm the lead combat designer on Ravenbound. The combat in Ravenbound is a fast-paced hack-and-slash melee roguelike Something we put a lot of work into is making a very reactive enemy AI. They are going to come at you and attack you relentlessly. For example, the Warden fights. Those turn into a dance where the AI is forcing you to move around, and you have to use your entire arsenal of dodge and guard to be able to defeat them. In contrast, the Tuftir attacks in hordes. When fighting them, it's all about managing their chaos with knockbacks, using dodge to spread them out or use the perfect timing of the guard to knock them down all at once. Then we have a massive troll who is slow and has big, wide, sweeping attacks. The key to defeating it is to read its attack animations to make sure you can choose the correct response to whatever pain they're trying to dish out. In Ravenbound, you're going to die. Something will murder you horribly, and everything will go wrong. Since we designed around Permida, we really wanted you to feel a sense of triumph when you win. Hello, I am Josephine, a narrative designer on Ravenbound. We've taken our inspiration from the very core of Scandinavian folklore, the creatures that scares us from going too deep into the woods. When you look at folklore, it's essentially just stories that people tell each other or what they don't know or understand. It's not about mighty heroes or warrior gods. It's about how the world is dark and dangerous, and these stories work to both entertain and warn people. We wanted to bring that feeling into our fantasy world and make it about the people and their experiences and the dangers of straying from the path. The world of Avalt is a world of two ages existing side by side, the old and the new. In times of old, the gods were always present, the heroes were mighty, and the craftsmen made amazing things. But all of that has been lost. The new world is more grounded. It's a world of struggle and survival. The monsters have been twisted and have reclaimed the wilds and are an ever-present danger to its people. Through the blessings of the Raven, you get access to a history that has been lost to the people of Avalt. You, the vessel, get the full picture of what the world was and what happened to its inhabitants. We are really excited to talk about Ravenbound with you. You can find us on Discord or any other social media. Come talk to us.